What up, what up, world? This is your homeboy, Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another tutorial for you. And this time around, I'm going to talk about how to create a press release for your music and send it out. Stay tuned. All right, what up, what up, everybody? This is your homeboy, Wordplay TJ. So um, in this particular video, I'm going to show you exactly how to send a press release um, what you're looking at is a press release from 2014 so like four years ago and at the time i was releasing my album the cycle um so i'm gonna take you through all the parts so you can swiftly just kind of understand what everything is and why uh, most of these parts are created. Now, I think this document was a template that was already in Microsoft Word. So I grabbed the template and just plugged in most of my information. So as you can see here, this does a little smart thing here. There's a smart thing here for, for, this, uh, for this headline and all these other things. So um, here we go. So at the top of the press release is usually some contact information for the person that wants to contact. Obviously, I blurred out my phone number because I don't want folks calling me on random. And then here's the company, um, not the logo necessarily. You can put a logo there, but um, just the name of the company. And then that's my old address. You'll never find me there, so don't worry. Um, once the contact information is input, you want to give contact information that's up to date and you also want to give contact information that's accurate. Um, so as long as somebody can get a hold to either you or somebody that, you know, like a manager or some something like that, some type of representative, then that would be best. A lot of artists that are um, growing and and big in, in the game, they have a, um, a publicist that usually fields all of these questions and handles all of this this contact. So the first thing I want to do is state when I want this press release to be put out into the public. And so that requires me to uh, put a for release date. So this one was for release September 2nd, 2014. And um, I probably sent this out like one or two days before the actual date. So everybody can um, can know that, hey, if it's before this situation, I want to I want to give it some lead time. This is this press release talks about a show. So it probably led up to a later date. Um, so I wanted to give it some lead time, at least two or three weeks. But if you're not publicizing a show or, or a specific uh, in town event, then I say um, give it give it give it only a couple days. So this one was like three weeks ahead, but uh, well, two weeks ahead. But this one this one had to do with a public event. So I wanted to give people plenty of time to see this in the press. All right. So what's the 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 header line? What's the what's what's the thing that's going to sort of capture the person that's reading this? Not not what's going to be published in the actual paper. So this line right here is what's being published in the paper. I, I wish I can remember the technical terms for it. But yeah, this part, it goes to the uh, to the actual like paper or news outlet or something like that. This is the part that they will uh, they will add into their little blurb. Um, but this is the part that's going to get a hold to the reader. So the 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 caption is wordplay returns to Fayetteville. And this is just a, a play on wordplay TJ and also just wordplay in general. So it, it was something clever that that I could use to capture attention. And then I can explain more in detail down below. So, yeah, this this might be like um, a small part of a headline, but this down below starts to give a little bit more detail. So now below this, it says hip hop artist wordplay TJ returns to Fayetteville for homecoming show after album release. OK, so that is is worthy or garnered uh, of garnering some some attention. And the reason it's worthy of garnering, garnering some attention is because it's a live event. 
it's a public event that that people would be at um so there can be a, a, a turnout to the to the performance but it's also something that people need to know about in order in order for them to actually show up and so press people want things that are going to be interesting to publish not necessarily something that's going to be just like tj's dropping an album that's not really as important what's important is if i drop the album and i'm doing it in some special way right so like this new album that i'm working on orientation day i would probably say um wordplay tj changes his orientation or something like that <laughs> well that sounds a little different but <laughs> wordplay tj um learns how to pivot you know like that that has a, a little bit of inquiry into it and then i would go down and explain below is like wordplay tj a hip-hop artist wordplay tj masters his craft through releasing singles for more than two years like that is very very interesting to someone that's going to read this story and understand what's going on every single press release has to be poised as a story and if it's not a story then there's nowhere that 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 person can take it whether it be on television where whether it be in print anywhere so you want to give people a story so where is this happening so usually the best way to send out a press release is to try to get it somewhere locally then try to expand regionally and then try to expand nationally um don't try to go national first and then work your way in it's really really hard because most people on a local level get their stories from local people and then on the regional level they get all their stories from the local level and then on a you could say statewide level um they get their stories from from those smaller outlets and then and then the national news gets all of their stories from the big uh regional or or statewide stories so like you have to understand that there's levels to um to this and so being specific as to what area this pertains to um is important and because i wanted to be published on september 2nd um i i also noted that as well right next to it so it's gonna it, this was fayetteville arkansas and it was gonna be september 2nd 2014. so now you just kind of want to tell the story if you're not a good writer it's okay think of a story that you can tell about the the event or the release that you're going to release something really really interesting um, maybe it's how you created that project or maybe it's how you created that single or it's how your story as as a as an artist like if you have something really engaging and capturing about your story something very unique then lend your story to this write-up and so it has to start with a little bit of information to begin with so it says that it's been a busy year for hip hop in 2014. Uh, the same can be said about hip hop songwriter and producer wordplay TJ, the former Fayetteville resident. So this this gives a little tie in because it, this is basically saying I'm coming home after being gone for so long. The former Fayetteville resident relocated after releasing his album 72701 Stories to grow his music career. After a year, he is ready to come back to Fayetteville and perform for the town. So here's a few mistakes and you want to watch out for grammatical errors. So after a year, there should be a comma there. But like, that's why I say if you need help writing this, go look for somebody that's good at writing papers or good at writing stories and so they can help you format this and then you know just write it and then revise and, and keep going on 
All right, so now we give a little bit more specific detail in the next paragraph. And all of this is just one page, by the way. So you do not want to really go above one page for this press release because people people don't have time to read like multiple pages. So here's the details. Now the lyricist is, is returning to Fayetteville to perform a homecoming show presented by local pr promotion company Sick Lady. So I was working with them to, to do this show. Wordplay TJ will be, be performing live at JR's Lightbulb Club, um, including hometown act Shinobi Click, Blocka, and resident DJ Chris OG. So cool. On Saturday, September 13th. Those are all the, the the like juicy, juicy details. You got to get really, really specific about what's going on at this event. And then what I should have done was uh, stated a little bit more about my journey here. But um, but that 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 kind of comes that I, I actually did state on that in this last paragraph, but that was I should have been a little bit more detailed about what I had went through um, just to return. So the show marks the release of his third album, The Cycle. The Cycle reflects on breaking the the, the, the uh, breaking the revolving door of poverty that Wordplay TJ experienced growing up in Little Rock, Arkansas. Cool. So that gives a little bit more about the album. Um, but it doesn't go into detail. And like I said, in hindsight, um, this this article was published somewhere, but um, it could have used a little bit more, a little bit more juice to it. So when you're thinking about that, think about multiple sides of the story, but still try to keep it pretty concise. Um, and then the last paragraph, Wordplay TJ was first recognized. This is a little background history. First recognized on MTV's Rap Fix when uh, host Sway Calloway, rapper Ja Rule, gave a single Breakfast and Biggie high praise. Gr great. So that's the beginning of my career. Since then, Wordplay TJ has opened up for Interscope recording artist MGK. And then in returning to Fayetteville, he break the cycle of of rock and f <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's kind of interesting so i laugh at that line because it's sort of like if fayetteville is a town it is a college town but it's in arkansas so usually most of the acts that perform are mostly rock and folk music and sometimes it, it, it me being there i was sort of an outlier because there wasn't very many uh, hip hop acts there. So returning to Fayetteville will break the cycle and see I'm tying it back to the album of rock and folk music with head nodding bass and lyricism. And so that kind of ties everything to the end. And then at the uh, the end of this, I say for more information or to schedule an interview, contact myself at my phone number here or email at book at gmail.com. So that's it and then the four releases copy down there and that's a press release like if if you don't know how to get press or you don't understand why press is important for your career then i i think you should take a take a little moment and and think to yourself hey well i want to get out there and I want to be heard by audiences. And and even though a lot of people are on social media right now, it's still good to go the traditional route and do these traditional things like sending a press release. It's still very important. It's still very vital and crucial to your career. So I think you should take the 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 I think you should make the most of it for sure. I think you should uh, take the time to create a press release, send it out to a few outlets. And if they don't publish it, try again, try again the next month, try again a few months later, try different outlets, try TV versus um, the newspaper. As long as a story is still fresh and relevant, you can you can create a story around whatever you're doing. It just needs to be. It just needs to be on time and 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 straight to the point and compelling. Um, but other than that, that's it.
All right, so thank you for checking out that video. I hope it helped. If you have any questions about how to send out a press release, please leave them down in the comment section. I'll answer as best as I possibly can. I want to say thank you for everybody for uh, for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. Thank you.